And that's what people are doing today is really showing that it's okay. Because that's what pride means, is it, to show people it's okay. People here today say pride is needed now more than ever. Queer people, like queer and trans people need, need to see themselves, like needs representation so they can see themselves in other people, know that it's okay, they can live how they want to, like whatever makes them happy. The mood is celebratory, but some pride societies are still feeling an undercurrent of hate. In Nanaimo, organizers had to work to come up with security plans to keep people safe. It's not safe. It's not safe for us to exist. And so this Pride, we really wanted people to think more carefully about raising the rainbow flag and see it as more of a call to action than just a celebration because we need to be creating safer spaces for LGBTQ2IA plus community members everywhere. According to Stats Canada, there was 64% increase in hate crimes in 2021 related to the community compared to the year before. It's something politicians are acutely aware of. So my responsibility as a community rep is to make sure everybody is safe and free to love who they love, to be able to express themselves how they want. And that's what this day is all about. We're shoulder to shoulder, standing up together. Organizers are heartened to see the passion and positive responses to the festivities. The volunteers hardly have any work because everyone's just contributing and coming together and supporting each other and working together. It's really beautiful to see. Pride Month will continue for the rest of June. Celebrations will be happening across Canada through the summer, with Vancouver hosting Pride events in August. Claire Palmer, CBC News, Nanaimo.